y'all. So I have been literally, I don't know if it's like district meeting season. It gotta be because I have literally been at district meeting after district meeting this week. So, and in different cities. So yesterday um, I had a meeting, a curriculum meeting for a new implementation I'm in one city this week. I mean, today I'm at a different meeting in a different city for um, a monthly kind of think tank with other curriculum facilitators. So yesterday um, the lunch was provided by the district. Today it was lunch on your own. So I'm trying not to be... I'm trying to find a nice way to say this, but there is no nice way. I'm trying not to continue to have big bag fat girl problems. So I said, let me eat like I got some sense for lunch today. So I went to Kava. This is not my first time going. It's my second time. Actually, the first time I went was from this meeting too, um, a couple months ago, but I had no idea what I had except falafel. Couldn't remember anything else. Um, so y'all get to take some of this stuff with me today. So first I have a um greens and grain bowl with falafel because i don't eat meat um and i got a large drink too and it came up to 1580 so y'all can see that here so first the drink this is uh blueberry lemonade i am trying to get off the round brown when i tell y'all coke and pest if you haven't been a choco but my ibs said girl you better get your life uh before we take you down so I got this because I like drinks that are sour. Um, they have a little bit of sweetness too, but I do not like really, really, really street, sweet drinks. So let's try this together. Like I said, I'm a lemonade girl, especially when it's fresh, like organic lemonade, where you taste how sour the lemons are. That's my vibe. Um, and blueberries, it just gives antioxidants. I am working on a love for, the, for blueberries. I don't necessarily love the texture, so I don't like to eat them, but I'm okay if they're in something. So let's see. Okay. So that's that sour that I like. That's good. So blueberry lemonade for the win. I do like that. All right. So let me show y'all this bowl. So, oh, it does come with like uh, two little triangle pita squares. But this is what the bowl looks like with all my things in it. So the sauce on top, they said it's like a italian because i don't like creamy sauces i'm a texture girly i hate creamy sauce like i think anything creamy is absolutely disgusting ranch blue cheese is giving mm -mm. um and so they also well let me walk you back through how the bowl works so if you um go to um kava you're going to order a bowl and if you get a build your own bowl which is what i did you if i can remember everything you can either pick grains greens or both i picked brown rice because um i didn't want to do greens because i knew i wouldn't eat all of it before um, my lunch period was over and i want to be able to like leave it sitting in the car and it still be okay um for like an hour because we have about an hour left when we get back um then you choose three dips so this is a dip all of them were creamy, so they were given, I don't eat that, but this one is like feta. So I told them, you can put them on the side or you can put the three dips in your bowl. It's like a little small ice cream scoop. Um, then you choose your, I guess your protein. So I chose falafel. They have all different kinds of meat and stuff there. They also had um, other roasted veggies, sweet potatoes, those sorts of things, but I did all falafel. Um, you can choose as many toppings as you want. I did um, roasted corn. I did a um, cucumber and tomato kind of like salsa. Um, I did uh, some more cucumbers. I did feta. Uh, and I believe that was it. Yeah. And then you could choose like a dressing to put on top. And so I asked them what was the closest thing they had to Italian dressing. And so it was that white looking dressing that y'all saw on here. Y'all prayed my strength. Baby girl said it wasn't creamy when she gave it to me. Um, so I was, uh, you know what? I just, I'm trusting her with my life right now, like in real life. Um, it smells absolutely delicious. It gives me the vibe of like an Italian, uh, very good Italian dressing, like a good homemade kind of situation. So God, we thank you because you are good. We give you glory for this food in his name, Lord. Bless the hands to prepare it and the body that consumes in Jesus name. Amen. All right. So let's give her a go and let's see what she do. I'm gonna try to look, get a little bit of everything. So y'all can get my actual first reaction. So a little piece of everything. Get a little piece of cucumber. All right, let's see what it do. Okay, that's not bad. 
Baby girl did not lie to me. The sauce is not creamy. The feta is excellent. The vegetables are actually seasoned. The feta is not... Um, I mean, the falafel is not soft, which I, I'm going to text you guys. I don't like super soft food. This is actually delicious. Mm. I like it because it's light. But I could also see myself getting full off of this. And it not really taking much. This is actually really good. So if y'all are feeling like you want to unbig your back too, this might be a good spot to slide through. Mm. I drove to Greensboro from this, for this. Like I said, I'm not in Greensboro right now. I'm in a nearby city, but I drove to Greensboro on, I mean, go into Greensboro on Wendover. Traffic was hellish to get this, but definitely worth it. I definitely like this. So I, I, I would give it a good solid, good solid nine out of 10. I do need them to get a sauce that is not super ridiculously creamy. Um, but I mean, some more dips that are not super um, creamy for those of us who don't like that texture. But this is pretty delicious. Mm. I'm going to go eat some of this because it's absolutely delicious. But I definitely would recommend. So let me know what you all try so that I can. I don't try a whole, whole bunch of new stuff, but I'm game to give some other combinations a try. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and if y'all like these kind of videos and we'll go from there but thanks for hanging out with me y'all know we don't always do things the conventional way but we will do them the hj way but talk to you soon